Okay. We'll wait a couple minutes. I got my next week's project ready. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Um, Society of Idea Collectors. Hi, Janet. Ashley. Darlene. Happy hump day to you, too. Hang on. I'm going to check Instagram for Society of Idea Collector posts. Um, from last week. I might have shown everything new, but let's check. Oh, there's something new. Peggy. I'll show them in. There's a couple. I'll show them uh, in a few minutes after everybody gets here. Darlene and... Peggy, and then I've got uh, next the next week's idea ready. Hi, Juanita, Nanette, Darla. I said I think I said hi to Darla and Darlene, Darla and Darlene, um, Nanette, Pamela. So wait for everybody to get here. We're gonna color in Serene, Nick Filbert's book. But I pulled some of his other stuff I have, too. All right. Pop up in there. Okay. Um, hi, Pacola. How you doing? Debbie Bruce. 3G Brenda. Or as I like to call her. Yeah, 3G. <laughs> G3 Brenda. I call her 3G. Let's see. Julie Topaz. Thank you, Julie. Uh, let's see. Linda. I try to catch everybody at the beginning. So, hi, Kate from Australia. Dawn. Who else? I try not to miss anybody when I'm sitting here at the very beginning, especially. Um... Okay, thanks. Thanks, uh, uh, 3G, yeah. Marie, okay. I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen her anywhere in a while, but then I'm not much on social media these days. Uh, Instagram and YouTube is about it. Hi, Maseki, Terry Brett. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, it's not moving yet, so I'll wait and see. Let me get up, sit on, sitting on my foot, it's going numb. Excuse the squeaky chair, but it's comfortable, so I keep it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I got uh, some Society of Idea collectors there. Sylvie, Riri. How's everybody doing? Hump day? I can't. I, I can't believe it's already getting toward the end of August. I, I, it's just I can't believe how fast the summer is gone. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think I've said hi to everybody that I can. I, I see right now. I'm sure if I miss somebody, I'll catch you in a little bit. So I do have the next, this will be week 14's idea of the weekly idea for Society of Idea Collectors. So, um, yeah, I got that ready. And uh, I'm going to pull something up on my iPad. I pull my iPad and then uh, I think I might color this one. <laughs> Seems so, right, Riri? Um, I might color this one and I pulled my, I haven't used my, Oh, hoo hoo skin tones or pastel brush markers. These are both brush markers. In case y'all didn't know, Oh, hoo hoo uh, came out with brush tip markers. I have a whole bunch of Oh, hoo hoo's that are just bullet tip, and the other side is uh, uh, the chisel. Um, but they've come come out with the uh, brush tip. 
So you can test those out, see if you like those. They're not very expensive compared, compared to Copics. Of course, nothing works like a Copic. Let's be honest. Copic is going to have the juiciest, most blendable <laughs> that just are, you know. But I thought I would go ahead and use, uh, I may, I don't know. I'm going to try to just use the uh, skin tones from here. Uh, and of course, I always use pencil too. Hi, Patricia. So I, uh, D. Richie, I always add um, <clears throat> pencil. I did post, I did finish two of the ones that we did last week uh, with the multiple, using all different mediums. This one we use pan pastel and color pencil. So I posted this one this morning on Instagram. And that is out of book three. That's out of this one. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Is it? Yeah, it's out. Yeah, I wrote it on the back. It's out of book three. So this this uh, page was out of this book. <coughs> and then I haven't posted it yet, but I finished this one out of book one. And this one was Super Tips, Super Tip Watered Down Crayola Super Tip Markers and Watercolor with a little bit of Posca White right there those little hairs are posca but um and some pencil so this is i'll post this one maybe tomorrow so um yeah probably post this one tomorrow on instagram so i did finish a couple of the ones uh the four or five that we worked on last week i can pay c and p um this crazy Saturday yesterday for end of summer. Go, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I think I said hi to Dawn. Uh, thank you, Darlene. So yeah. So I pulled my Serene. I have I have two copies of the Serene. One I've and I have a whole bunch of them either started or worked on here. And um then I pulled a couple of the other Nick Filbert. This is his real name right there. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but he goes by Nick Filbert. If you want to look him up on Instagram, N-I-C-K, Nick, Nick Filbert is what he is, um, what he goes by on Instagram. So if you want to look him up on Instagram, um, yeah, uh, well, in the hobby, like Hobby Lobby, they're gonna they have their Christmas. Well, they have all of it at once. Like they have the fall stuff, they have the Christmas stuff. They they put it out because people that craft, hi Beth, uh, people that craft need you know their stuff to craft with before you know you can't wait till December first to put out Christmas stuff and then have people craft Christmas crafts, you know. So I, I give hobby stores a pass. Other stores, because <laughs> I used to work retail, I know. I was in visual merchandising. Day after Halloween, we were putting up the Christmas, you know. And, and now, it's, of course, it's way before. But, you know, that was some years ago. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Tina. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope that your uh, alligator has scooted along to somebody else's dock. <laughs> Moved along, move that, move that, uh, move that alligator along. Let's see. There's Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. Uh, yeah. Um, I know Julie. I know. I know. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Just I said hi to Riri. Who else? I, I think I've caught up with everybody so far. Um. So, yeah, we're going to color with markers today. Um, specifically, I want to use my uh, Ohuhu's. And, of course, I have the um, I have the Milo. Is it Milo? Milo? Milo. I have the Milo ones. And uh, they're a brush tip as well. I don't know. I can't say that all these aren't made, you know. Are these all made by the same company? I don't know. These look exact. The Milo ones look exactly like the ones from... Um, Hobby Lobby, the Masters Touch ones. Let's see if I can find one. That's Milo. I'm trying to find a Masters Touch one. Yeah, here. They look exactly like the Masters Touch. I mean, they even have the little nubbies. I don't know. I haven't compared the numbers. I don't know if the numbers, that would be something, right? The numbers were all the same as well. 
maybe I should look at that and see. <laughs> but they're exactly the same. So I'm sure that the Milo and the Master's Touch are probably made by the same company. <laughs> you know? But um, anyway, so they're all, you know, they're all other versions of a brush tip alcohol marker. So I'm going to try to use those um, and not use Copics this time. But I use Copics all the time. So, you know, I, lo I love the Copics. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to try to use something budget friendly. So if everybody wants to look into either the Ohuhu, the Milo, or the Master's Touch, you know, alcohol brush tip markers. So let's see. Hi, Arlene. Good to see you. How you doing? I try to click on a few people here. There's Riri. Hi, Patricia. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Were you worried about the uh, alligator cat and paste? <laughs> Hi, Carla. Good to see you. So thanks, everybody, for stopping in. I do have, a, like I said, a weekly idea ready. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Instagram. I have one or two. Well, two, I think I saw. So I have um, this one is from... Darlene and she used it looks like she used her quilt as inspiration and then she drew it and colored it and made notes so um let's see does she week 13 ideas and inspiration shapes from shapes so this was from the shape one so that's that's pretty uh that's pretty cool Darlene that's really that's good what a, that's a good idea and then the other one is Peggy Wilson. Let's see, does she have, she is ancient civilization. And this, these are Mayan. Um, one of the weeks, I think it was week, uh, I don't know which week was it. Was it last week, 13? Last week, I think, I, um, I said to use an, uh, an ancient or extinct civilization and find some of their art or, you know, icons or something and do some art from it. So look, that's awesome. If you want to see it close up, go go over to Society of Idea Collectors, all one word. And uh, look, she broke it down, wrote what they mean. I love that. I love that. So, yeah, you did good, Darlene, on that quilt. That was awesome. And Peggy, that's awesome on the ancient civilization. So I'll give it about five minutes and then I'll tell you all week 14. And... Um, and then I did pull the book to try to read <clears throat> to try to remember to read from our thousand one ways to be creative toward the end of the show. Try to do that every week as well. Hi, Nick and Tina. Uh, let's see. Oh, what else? I'm looking around here. Um Oh, I did get a book. Let me see. Um, hang on. Let me go in here and get that thing. I was going to show it on Monday. And forgot what I didn't want to get out that So I got this when I got the um, Somerset Studio. And uh, I have not read this probably since elementary school so i really and i i never watched and i know you're gonna say you never watched the movies or nope so i'm gonna reread it <laughs> from, but anyway um this was a special edition at books a million called this you know the secret garden um and this is illustrated by mina lima and uh, Frances Hodgson Burnett is the author. I'm sure either y'all read it when you were young or you've seen the movie or one of the TV shows based off of it. Oh, wait, Tina, you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Let me show you. So it came wrapped in, wrapped in plastic, right? Or, you know, cellophane, whatever. It came wrapped. <laughs> and uh, so I didn't know what was in it, but it... It, it does say that there were inclusions in it. So um, I'm going to show you the inclusions. You just read it a few months ago, Janet. Oh, my gosh. Well, you're going to love this version. Oh, wait for it, Kalora. Wait for it. Look at the cover. But wait, there's all these inclusions in it. It's an inclusive inclusion book. 
that has lots of tip-ins and stuff. So I'll show y'all that. Uh, hi, Zeely. So, um, yeah, so again, I haven't read it since I was probably in, in, in uh, elementary school. I don't really remember the, too much of the story. I got the, you know, the premise of it, but not. Uh, and I never watched any of the movies that I remember or the TV shows. So <laughs> I got inclusions. <laughs> oh, Janet. Well, I'll go ahead and show it to you. We're almost, it's almost nine o'clock. So, <clears throat> yeah. So if this one's, I think it just came out. Yeah, two, no, 2018. I have not seen, Books A Million just put out a stack of, these and Alice in Wonderland. Now, the Alice in Wonderland, I don't think had inclusions in it. Um, but there was like three or four, um, three or four classics, you know. And um, and the, the reason I got this, I had not read it for years. And it was because of the inclusions, right? You can't find a specific on Amazon. Well, it, I don't know if it's on Amazon. Let me give you the ISBN. Um. Not well, I you know, I know you probably don't want to put it in, Tina, but here it is 9780062892573. It's a Harper design book. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll show it. And uh, yeah, it came out. I thought it was new because it was the first time I saw it at my books a million, but apparently it's 2018. Okay. So, oh, it's really pretty. Wait for it. <laughs> it could be a books a million exclusive. I don't know. But 2000, if it was, if it was just a books a million exclusive and it came out in 2018, I think I would have seen it before now, you know, at my books a million. So, um, so there's pretty illustrations, but what got me, of course, was the tip-ins and the, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember seeing, I didn't see any Carla, but I wasn't, I was kind of in a hurry. Didn't really look too much, you know? So let's see, I'm going to just kind of, just kind of skip through so you can kind of see that there's lots of illustrations and then all right so here's the first one right and it's a map it's a full map here so there's the garden and then this looks this is the house right so here's the house and then the garden in the gate <laughs> i know it's really cool right all right so let's see let's flip through a few more pages there's a couple other and they just have lots of illustrations then here's a little um cut out wardrobe a little paper doll a little paper doll uh, then let me just kind of flip through a few of the pages again just so you can kind of see there's lots of illustrations. And then here's a bird and it has a little key. And what does it do? Let's see, there's a key right here. And then this little bird flips like this or like that. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see. Then here we go is the next one. There's the little, there's a little, um, in the hedge, there's a little where you can see the keyhole in the hedge, right? So, yeah. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I should zoom in one more. Well, I don't know. I think you can see okay. And then some more pages of illustrations. And here we go. A little there's a little garden hidden garden there that says the garden of the lil, uh, lily uh lilies i'm not sure so there's that um, then here's a little letter
<clears throat> and then some more illustrations. And then here's a snake that unfurls. It, un it uncurls like that. Look. And then the snake charmer. So, yeah, tons of illustrations throughout the whole book. Let's see. And then here's um, a little wheel. I think it has something to do with the seasons and the what's what, as it's growing there. It's got the bud, the rose, you know, it goes all the way to the to the little bud and um, I think that may be all let's see oh, one more and then another letter another letter so yeah secret garden and it's a real nice it's like you know like the old timey cloth books you know it just I really liked it hi Brenda D Julie Lou. So who's it by? There you go, right there. Francis Hodgson Burnett. And the artist is Mina Lima. See how it says lavishly illustrated with interactive elements? That I didn't see that on the Alice in Wonderland. They're all wrapped up though, but I did not see that uh, on the Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so, and again, I'm sitting on my foot going numb. So we're going to color, um, we're going to color in Serene today, but I pulled out a couple of the other, um, Nick Filbert, that's, this is his real name, but he goes by Nick Filbert on Instagram, and um, I think I follow him on Facebook, but I'm not really on Facebook or Twitter much, so um, I, you can look him up if you want, but I follow, I follow him on uh, Instagram. Okay, so um, let's see. Oh, do, 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 do. Reminds me of the old Reader's Digest books. Yeah, kind of, Juanita, except without the inclusions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, they do the kind of cover. Yeah. So, okay. So, real quick, let me go ahead and tell you the assignment. Well, I don't, I don't call it an assignment or homework. We want to call it weekly idea. So, the weekly idea for those coming in just for that, like sometimes Mary doesn't get to come in except for that. <laughs> so, week 14, and I'm going to show you an example on my iPad. So, I brought up Pinterest. So, let me go back over there. All right, so here's the thing. All right, so let's go back here. So what I want you to do, and I'm going to give you an example of how to do it. If you don't have Pinterest, then I'm, I'm going to give you another option, okay? But what I want you to do, and I've shown you this a couple of times over the years, um, go on Pinterest and follow something you like that either you really like, you think it's a cool style, and it can be on any topic. It can be on, and I'll do a couple different ones. It can be on drawing, it can be on art journaling, sketching, whatever topic you really are interested in. So pick that topic, and you know how Pinterest will lead you to more like this, more like this, more like this. Well, what they're doing when you when you follow that is they are going by what you pick to pick the next thing that's closest to what they think you're going to like. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it on Pinterest. But if you don't have Pinterest, don't want Pinterest and all that, then you do it on Google Images or just pick something off of IG that you like and, you know, either write about or draw or sketch or pick the colors write down and figure out what it is you like about that what it is you like about that um that image or that style okay so hi Nanamo, happy wednesday 
Hi, Rain. So I'm going to show you here on, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull up. Here's uh, my Pinterest here. And I, I have art. Let me go ahead and start from the beginning so that you can see, because I'm not sure where I was on my search to show you an example. All right. So I'm going to put in art journal. Okay. So here's, here's what's going to come up on art journal. All right. So now what I'm going to do is scroll through this and see which one I like the best on this page or the style that's just, just at this moment is attracting me. It may not be the, my all time favorite ever, but it's just what's attracting me on that page at this time. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through this front page here and let's just see what I'm going to like. I like a lot of it, but you know, okay, let's go with, let's go with this little folk art girl. Okay. So there's a folk art. What I like about this is I like the little illustration. I like the lettering. I like the fonts. I like how there's some negative space. I just like this whole look. So I'm going to click on that and uh, folk art painting, watercolor ink portrait. So now I'm going to scroll. Well, let's see, where's it going to go? Well, let's see. I don't want to go to the Etsy. What I want to do is go to, <laughs> I want to go to, for whatever reason, this is the one that is not letting me do it. I don't know why. Showing you more like this. I don't know why. All right, we're going to pick something else. And for whatever reason, that one's not letting me do it. <laughs> I don't know why. That's the first time I've ever had it happen that they don't give you more recommendations. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's just pick another one. But that's what I liked about that one. And then, of course, they're going to show you art journal inspiration, visual journal ideas, art journaling tutorials, art journal drawings, art journal collage. So um, let me just try to pick one of these. Let's go with um, uh, visual journal ideas. Okay. All right. So now I can look through these and see what I what what attracts me the most on this page. I was trying to look, see, there's that one again. I really want to click on that, but it's not letting me, it's not letting me uh, go to more like that for whatever reason. Okay. There's a, I recognize a Diane Reevely look. I mean, uh, Diana, Diane Wakely. Okay. Here's one that has words on it. Okay. All right, so here we go. So I like this one because of the negative space, the words, the illustration. So you see how more came up underneath? So now I'm going to go scroll through these and do the same thing. I'm going to pick which one I'm most I like this one. Okay, so this one, it's stitch collage. Now, I don't do sewing and stitching, but I, what I like about this is the line art kind of look. So I like the colors. I like the line art i like the negative space and so see what it did it came up with more like this so now it's getting more and more specific right here's another one so it's just going to continuously carry you through that style is that making sense to everybody okay so like i like this one here this one's got a lot of negative space I like the colors. And this is Robin Marie Smith. I, I know we've known her forever. Um, so I like the colors. I like the negative space. So now look, now we're getting to more in that looks like that. Uh, so you just keep following it. Here's another one. That's Robin Marie Smith too. Um, uh, let's see. It looks like she has a lot on Pinterest. So. But I do like that. Um, I do like that kind of negative space. You see how, how it works? So you're just going to keep following it. You're just going to keep following whatever it is that you that is falling falling into the style you like. Yeah, I was just here today. <coughs> so apparently I really like Robin Marie Smith's um, style or colors or negative space or something. Because it comes up a lot. It's coming up a lot. So let's do another one. Let's do a sketchbook. All right, I'm going to go search. Let's do sketchbook. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to put in sketchbook. Now I'm going to try to pick something kind of totally different. Maybe something like Urban Sketchers or something like that. 
just to kind of go into a different direction. Um, let's see. I really like that. I like the. All right, here. Let's go with this. Look how bright and colorful this is. So let's go with this one and let's just see where it takes us. Okay. So you, let's get back over here. So now it's showing us a lot of bright, colorful type art. All right, let's click on another one just because it's, you know, I'm liking that, those colors. So I'm see every time you click on one, you're getting more and more into that vibe, right? So it's getting really into pop art and other things too. So like, let's go with something like maybe this one has a lot of detail. So now it's going to give me bright colors with a lot of detail. So it's just a way to search some, some ideas to find kind of what you might be interested in, in particular. All right. So now I'm going to go back. back. Hang on. I'm going to go back to the original here, sketchbook. All right, let's go to, um, well, let me go ahead. I'll just go back to sketchbook journal again and pick something totally different. Okay, I'm not looking at chat, so just hopefully, hopefully y'all are following along here. Um, so then here's some more scrapbooky type stuff with three ring binders. Um, all right, there we go. So let's go to something like more like this. That's more, um, you know, urban sketching type stuff or your own, you know, sketching your own supplies and your own desk and building and all that. So now look, see how it's going to start showing you things like that. It's going to be more geared toward, you know, this kind of look, kind of like uh, the beast, like what Janet does in the beast more like il little illustrations and things so you see and you just keep looking you just look now we're into the botanicals okay so i really like this pen and ink one so now i'm going to be getting pen and ink and i like that those pen and ink ones so you see how it's now look now everything's going to start going toward pen and ink because that's what i'm clicking on so that way you can just kind of follow um, a style or a technique or something about something about the links that connect to things you like. And you can do that with a lot of stuff. I mean, you can do it with anything, really, on Pinterest. You're going to find something. You know, you can do it with drawing, sketching, inking manga, you know, comics, cartoons, color books, <laughs> you know, color pencils, markers, you know, um, alcohol markers. You can, you can do it at, on any topic and it's just going to keep leading you along. <laughs> it's going to keep, it's going to, you're going to go into the dark abyss of Pinterest <laughs> for hours until you, um, <laughs> and tell you, so, okay, I got to get out of here now. But anyway, so that's what I, I thought for the weekly idea for week 14 is to follow a Pinterest trail. Follow a Pinterest trail. I should write that down. Follow the Pinterest trail. Until you get to a style or colors or some reason you want to stop. And then what I want you to do you can do whatever you want and anything that, you know, inspires you can write it in your idea book. But uh, I, I think it would be a good idea to then write about what it is you like about it. Maybe, you know, put down, you know, like if it had a lot of uh, pastel colors, you know, maybe put some pastel color combinations together in your Society of Idea notebook. You know, whatever it is, write about it, doodle about it make notes about it, make sure and write down the artist uh, that that ended up being the person that you attracted, you know, were attracted to their style or their art. Write that down. And again, if you don't want to do Pinterest, then uh, <laughs> right. If you don't want to do Pinterest, then just go on Google Images and um 
uh, or, or Instagram and just pick something you like, you know, pick a person that you see that you like their art, maybe scroll through their feed, you know, or a topic, you know, you can do sketchbooks on, um, you know, hashtag sketchbook on Instagram or hashtag art journal, hashtag whatever, and you'll get a whole bunch of variety of people and scroll through it and find someone that, you know, you just like for whatever reason, you don't have to have a reason, um, you know, write down, but write down notes on what it is that attracts it to you. But, you know, you, you don't have to have a reason. Oh, this one is because of this, you know, write down what you can and maybe you can learn something. Uh, about why, what it is you like, right? Okay, so uh, let's see. I bought a book to make one of those painting journals. <clears throat> yeah, a collage journal view. You mean uh, collaging into? <coughs> let's see. Um, yeah, that's the place to get them. Is at thrift stores or, you know, uh, clearance clearance out books for five bucks or something like that all right so there we go for the week of um week 14 let me get a sip of my i'm out of cranberry juice so i'm drinking lemonade and keep my voice going here <coughs> all right so Back to our project for the day. And again, if you missed it, I showed it a few minutes ago. I did finish two of the pages that we started last week <coughs> on color. Was it that last week or was it Monday? No, it was, I don't know. Was it Monday? When did we do the color with color with everything? I think it was last week. So anyway, <laughs> I guess the two will totally lose track. So I finished this one. And this one is out of Coleridge Wild 3. And I did post this one on Instagram. So I finished her and posted that. And then tomorrow, I finished this one too, and I'll probably post this one tomorrow. She is out of Coleridge Wild number one. And this is with watercolors and water-based, you know, the super tip markers watered down. This is watercolors. And then this one is pan pastel and color, <clears throat> color pencil. So I like how both of them turned out. So, again, I posted this one on Instagram, and I'll do the other one tomorrow. All right. So, <clears throat> again, i got to get my voice going. I can hear it going out, and I should have made – I always say I should have made more hot coffee, but I drink so much coffee at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning that by 8.30, I don't really want any more coffee right now. <clears throat> Even though this officially – my channel is officially Coffee and Art in the Morning – uh, thanks, Cat and Base. So thanks, thanks, Julie Lou. So I have colored. Uh, I love Serene, and I always say, and I did pull out my oh hoo hoo new uh, the brush tip markers. I have the pastel ones and the skin tones, and then um, I have uh, sets of the Milo, or it might be Milo. I don't know Milo or Milo, but they're as well the brush tip marker. So. Um, I'll be using the Milo or the Milo. And then I also have the uh, Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. That They all look exactly the same. <laughs> so anyway, wherever you want to get some sets. And, um, uh, you know, if you want to get them at Hobby Lobby or Amazon, Ohuhu. And uh, so we're going to be using them today. But I'm going to show you a few things that I've done with Nick Filbert. Again, there's his full real name. But on Instagram, he goes by Nick Filbert. So this one is Irene. I've colored a couple things out of it. I found that this paper is um, odd. Uh, I think it was published in, was it the Phil Indonesia? And this paper is does not do very well with markers. It's just a it's just a different kind of paper, um, and it doesn't do well with markers. I love the images, and I just have to color with other things in this one. So I'll kind of do a flip so you can see, and it has stories to it, chapters, and um, yeah, a beautiful beautiful book, beautiful. You know, he's got awesome awesome illustrations. 
So here's one I did. I might have done two out of here or started one. So let's see what did I color this one with. Did I do markers? Yeah. See how it goes through? So it's a one-sided page, so you can color with markers. When you color with alcohol markers in a one-sided page, make sure you put something behind it. If I didn't put something behind it, it would sink over to this one, right? Or you can tear them out. A lot of the one-sided um, uh, color books, I'll take the, take the pages out, color them, and then I'll put them in a binder. Um, then some books, I don't do that. So this one, again, I've got a lot of stickle glitter on this one. So you can see. You can see some of the stickles. And if I remember, maybe I'll use some uh, stickles today. Um, the thing about using stickles... Thank you, Becky. The thing about using stickles is you you want to use it at the very end, whether it's a clear one. This was a clear sticker, a stickle, I believe, or whether it's, um, you know, whatever color you use. You want to do it at the very end because you're going to have to leave your book open and set it aside and let it dry. And then you're not going to be able to put anything back over it. You're kind of stuck with. So make sure that that's a final touch that if you put any glitter, glue or stickles, let me go reach over here. Hang on. Let me grab a couple here. Mm -hmm. So here's the stickles and this is the silver one. I have clear, I have lots of different colors, but uh, this is the silver one. And the other thing I sometimes use is the liquid pearls. And this gives it like a little dimensional pearl. But again, when you use something dimensional on your color book, you have to remember that unless you cut the page out, roll away there unless you cut the page out you're going to have texture and if i put a big pearl bump on this page then when i go to color this one then i'm going to feel like i can feel the stickles through there i can feel the texture so you're going to have to make sure that you put something behind the page so that the texture is not affecting the next the you know another page so let's see what else do I have in this one. I have another one. In I thought I had two in this one. Maybe not. Or maybe I did cut it out. And then there is a poster in this one. So this poster. And then it is uh, it is a, uh, you know, it's double side. I mean, it's, you know, something on both sides. So you couldn't use, um, you couldn't use, uh, what do you call it, uh, alcohol markers on this. Unless you didn't care about the page behind. So there's that. That's Irene. Irene or Irene. And then I know I've shown you this before. And I'm going to go ahead and back out my camera as far as I can to show you this. There we go. <clears throat> um, let's straighten this out here. So this is a poster, again, by... Nick Filbert, but there's his real name. It's not going to focus because I zoomed out. Uh, have you tried who, who oh, Mark, water-based? Um, no, I don't think I have the water-based ones. Um, I, I have, um, the, I have, um, what do you call it ones? Um, hang on. Um, I don't know, Arte, Arteza ones. Or some, Ar Arteza, you know, however you want to say it. Arteza, water-based uh, brush markers. I have the Arteza. Arteza one. So I didn't get the Ohuhu ones because I think I have 72 of the Arteza water brush ones. So, okay. So this one's called Let's Color Love and it's a poster. And I started by doing the alcohol markers as a base and then I'm shading with pencil. I've not worked on it probably in, a, I don't know, a year, maybe more. So, and I did write down that it is 25 by 34. That's it, the inches. So it's big. <clears throat> so here is how much I have finished and how much I don't have finished. So you can see here, this is some of the area that's finished. It's got the alcohol marker, which you can see on the back. It has the alcohol marker and then pencil shading and details done. Here's some uh, Posca on top of this. So you can see where I have a lot of this area done. Let's see. Hi, Donna, Amira. 
say hi to Rachel. I know I'm probably missing. So, and then up here, you can see where, like those flowers right here, those are not shaded yet. They've just been base coated with the alcohol markers. And then eventually they'll be shaded into something like this, right? Or, and then here's this is shaded in. They're shaded. The hardest part with them was they were so intertwined. I had to figure out whose foot was what, where their legs were. <laughs> I had to figure all that out. But uh, so you can see, like, here's some of the clouds there. So that's been done here and not done. Well, it's a little bit there, but it's not finished. So you can see it's in different stages. So it is big, like I said, what a uh, 30, 25 by 34. So it's a big poster. And uh, yeah. So I eventually get that done. But you know, I don't I don't feel any pressure to hurry up and finish it. But it comes in this book like this. I'll give you seven ISBN. No, it doesn't have yeah, it doesn't have an ISBN. Well, let's see if I get this very tiny. Let me get my, let me get my, um, okay, 978-602-0331836. And I don't remember what year this came out. Let's see if it's down here. Dang, it's so tiny. Does it have a year? Hmm. 2016. So it came out in 2016. Oh, is Tina's birthday coming up? When's your birthday, Tina? I just saw somebody tell you happy early birthday. When's your birthday, Tina? So, so yeah, that's called Let's Color Love. Again, there's his full real name. But Nick Filbert is what he goes by on uh, social media. The 21st. Okay, well, that's uh, what is, what's today? 1923 days? Friday? Saturday? Saturday? Well, happy birthday early. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so let me move this one. All right, then I have two copies of Serene. One, um, I, I got a second copy, um, and I did get it off, I think I got it off of, I don't remember if I got it off of Etsy or Amazon, because I haven't, I, I bought the second one some time ago as well. But I'm going to show you the ones, and this is the one I plan on coloring today. Or starting now, you know, I'm not going to finish this. I'm probably not going to finish this in like three hours, two and a half hours. So, um, <laughs> it's on Catterday, Tina. Okay. Tina's birthday is on Catterday. <laughs> so, I'm going to work on this one, but I'll go ahead and show you the ones that I've uh, worked on already. And then I'll do a flip of the new of a brand new one so you can see every page in there. Because some of these I gave to Cameron and uh, he, he's colored some amazing pages out of it. And, uh, but I'll show you one that I haven't taken anything out of. But this is the same, same exact book, but I'll show you. I'll flip through some of the pages that I've done in it. I know, Tina, I love this book. So, and if I, people ask me if you could only pick one color book that you would, um, it would be Serene. Uh, you know, uh, if I had to pick on, there's a lot of other color books I really, really like, but if I could only pick one color book, it would be this one. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show you some of the ones I have started or worked on. Again, this one, this one has uh, stickles, glitter in the background there. Okay. This one is done. And you can see the finished ones. I don't know if I have any whips, works in progress. I don't really care to post works in progress much. I've done it a couple times, but I really try to wait till they're completed before I post them on Instagram. But um, this one will be there. She's done. So I can get some closer so we can get as much detail as possible. And she's done. 
Um, I don't like the way the fly I did the flowers. The flowers are too much the same. Um, I just didn't care for the flowers, but I really liked her skin and, and like made her look real pale. <clears throat> this one is probably about 80% done. You can see some of the areas that I've still not finished yet. And some of them have alcohol markers and then different, you know, different things. I think I used, um, I might have used Pam Pastels on her face. So you can see I'm not done shading in all the leaves and stuff. But um, if you if you keep it to like three main colors on any page, and I always have to qualify that by saying if you're doing a garden and got 50 different kinds of flowers, then put as many colors as you want. <laughs> but if you keep your color book pages to like three main colors and a couple of accent colors, it's going to look cohesive in the end. So this one has some gold in it as well. You can see the gold shining. I like to add the, the glitter and the gold to these pages just because they're special. Here's another one. I really like her eyes. Again, you can see all the gold. And you can see where this is not shaded yet. So this one doesn't have any alcohol markers. So it may either have... Uh, I think this might be watered down um, super tips or, or watercolor of some kind. So on this one, I was using water-based color as a base and then going over it with um, a pencil to shade like here. Here's my golden goddess. Again, she's got a lot of gold all in the, on top of the, the uh, color. And as you can see, I still got to do her headdress. So hi up, Gail. I really love this one. I, I love how she turned out. Again, the main colors, you got the blue, the green, and the kind of orangey color there with a gold accent. So I really like this one. This one turned out, and that one is alcohol-based markers. You can tell because you just turn it over. <laughs> yeah, I like the metallics there. So and you can, you, you know, there's a lot of these have very, very tiny elements. The one I'm going to do today. I mean, you know, don't be afraid to get in there with a fine liner or whatever, you know, whatever it takes, whatever works. But I really like her head dress. I really like the way that turned out. This one's still in progress. So... This one is probably about, I don't know, 90% done. I have to shade the gold. You know, I have to do some. Uh, I was going to do two shades of gold on her details there, but never got back to it because, you know, we, we do some. But this is all paint in the background. That's acrylic paint. And um, then you can do all these uh, details like this with, uh, let me see, there's a white pencil. Do I have one here? Oh. Um, When you have acrylic paint, I always show y'all, you know, that you can go over this with pencil. Well, I have to have some something to push down on there. But you can um, you can go over the top of acrylic paint with pencil and it just makes such a nice effect. You can get glows, you know, you can get glows and sh shading and water effects. And you can do a lot of things with acrylic paint background. All right, this one. Oh, I, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do this one or this one today, and I think I decided on that one. Okay, mm, so oh, I got a couple more in here. All right, so these are a couple more that are not started yet. This one, this one, and I'm going to go through the the book. This one I did at a on Christmas one year, and it's not finished. But my little Christmas elf, her. And then let's see a couple more. Here's my uh, cemetery angel, which still needs to have this shaded so that it all looks like this. And again, that's a pencil color, white pencil on top of black acrylic paint. And so I need to finish shading her wings. 
And then this one's pretty much done. There's a few little details I need to finish in her. So um, again, with the gold, you can see. So I really like her too. Well, I like all of them and, and for different reasons. All right, so let's pick out the one. I don't know. I'm kind of just like, kind of torn between either one. I like this one because it has a bird in it. But I think I'm going to go with my original pick. We're going to do this one. All right, so now before I go on, let's go ahead and I'll show you a complete, um, a full book that I haven't torn anything out of yet because I have taken pages out of this to give to Cameron. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll flip through the whole book. Let's see. Let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, let's see. Hi, Jane. Um, there's a book you just might complete. Um, yeah, and I, I think if I would say that I'd want to complete a book, it would be, it would have to be serene. Okay, let's see. I got to fix my camera's crooked. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip through it. There's his signature. Uh, I'm going to flip through all the pages real quick, just so you can see, see them. Quickly, kind of quickly. <clears throat> Karen did this one. I, I, I wish I had it close in my phone. I, I'd have to probably scroll forever to find it. But this, he did this amazing. I don't know if I've got it. Let me just see if I have it handy. And Denise is also texting me something about Bob Ross. Let's see. Oh, she said that. Bob Ross documentary airs next Wednesday on Netflix. Um, let's see. Let me go over to my photos and just see if I have it kind of close. If I don't. Mm, no, it doesn't look like I saved it again. You know, sometimes I'll resave a picture to keep it more forward. But I can't even tell you how far back that, that was. It's been a couple, maybe three years ago that he did this one. Take a look at this eBay listing for that coloring book. Um, how much is it, Tina, on, on eBay? Did you say eBay? How much is it selling for on eBay? It's not a cheap book. It's going to cost you probably 40 bucks with shipping and everything. But I don't know um, what it's going for now. What's it going for, Tina? Five hundred? Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. Uh, it's a nice book, and it is heavy cardstock weight. Probably about a hundred and ten weight cardstock. But yeah, uh, five hundred. <laughs> yeah, forty is um, you know. Uh, you know, high enough, you know, and, and I'm not sure because I haven't priced it lately. You know, I haven't priced it in some years. So, yeah. 2017, it looks like. Yeah, 2017 is when it came out. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let me pull, let me go ahead and uh, start on this one. And I have not used the Ohuhu skin tie. I've swatched them, but I've not tried to use them yet. And then I have the pastel set. Uh, these are the only Ohuhu brush tip alcohol markers that I have. I have other uh, brush tip alcohol markers. Like I said, I have the Master's Touch, and I'm going to compare them to you. And I have the Milo or Milo, whatever it is. 
they're either Milo or Milo. So I'm going to show you. Here's a, uh, let's, uh, well, I'm not going to swatch them. I've done that already. I'm just going to go ahead and dive in and use them. The gold, um, I think the gold was this paint. Let's see. Sometimes I use a pen, but I think the gold might be this one. The metal no, it's not that metallic paint. I have to think for a minute. Which gold did I use? Was it the gold ink? I think it was gold ink. I think it was gold ink. Let me look over here. And I have to dig around to see where that is. It's not right here. It might be up on my shelf. I'm pretty sure it's a gold ink that I use for that. I'm trying to remember. It's been some. It's been some years. It's been some years uh, since I used it. So, um, or was it? You know what I think it was the, the metallic marker. Hang on, I'm looking at my pin bank O pins. <clears throat> it might be <clears throat> the um, the pin. Is it pin tail that makes it? Hang on, I'm looking. I'm looking. It's a it's a metallic. Um, let me look. Ah, uh, nope. The kind that you shake, it's, you know, paint pen like, it's like a paint pen, but I'm not finding, because I probably don't have but one or two, because I haven't used them in so long. But the the ones that are like <clears throat> paint pens, you got to shake them. Skinny barrel. Oh, let's see. I'm looking, guys. I'm looking, and I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any. Let's see. Hmm. And I can't see chat right now. Hang on. <clears throat> I'm not seeing him. But I think they're Pentel paint pens. The kind you have to shake. It come in silver and gold. And I think they come in bronze too. But I'm not seeing any right now. I know Janet's going, you know, you got one somewhere. But I can't find one, Janet. So, but that's what they are. They're black and gold barrel, and they're they're skinny. You know, they're like a paint pen, but I'm not seeing any of them. If I happen to come across one while we're here, I will um, I will show it to you. But I'm not seeing it. But that's I'm pretty sure that's what it is. The Pentel paint pen. No, I don't have any pens under the desk, Judy. That's paper. Paper is under the desk. Pins and markers at top. But I'm not seeing that particular one. So. Not even. The silver one. I thought maybe I had a silver one too. But I'm not seeing it. But they're the paint pins you have to shake. And they, they smell. You know. They have that smell. Okay. So let me show you the difference between. Or show you the, the sameness. Of the Master's Touch, the Milo and or Milo, and the Ohuhu. Okay, so the Master's Touch and the Milo Milo are, I mean, they're exactly the same. Look, the they have the nubbies, the same shape. I don't know if they have the same numbers, but they both have. They're exact. Whoops, the same brush tip i mean they're like exact look the colors everything all right so now let's look at the ohuhu which looks pretty much exactly the same too <laughs> it's just a, the cap doesn't have those nubbies on it like that they do it has a little nubbies on it and this one doesn't but look they all look exactly the same this one, the Ohuhu, has a little bit different uh, uh, end cap right there. But the brushes themselves all look exactly the same. Okay. All right. And so, that's the Ohuhu. This is the Milo. And this one is the Master's Touch. So I'm going to try to use as many of the Ohus as I can. But um, if I, for pastel and skin tones, 
those these are the only colors that I have in the Ohuhu brush. I have the Ohuhu um, bullet nib in lots of other colors. I have a full set of those. But in the brush tip, these are the only colors I have. So I'll probably do her skin, maybe a little something, something. And then um, for some of the brighter stuff, I'll use the Milo. Okay. Patricia, I just went through them all. I just went through them all. Oh, hoo hoo, Master's Touch and Milo. Yeah, I just, I just did that. Did you just now come in? I don't know. Okay, so uh, I do need a, what do you call it, a uh, scrap sheet to test the colors. Let's get a piece of cardstock to test the colors on. All right. Hi, Jeff. All right. So let's see. Here's all the skin tones. And uh, let's see, kind of a pink and a peach and a, uh, let's see, let's get a white color for like blending. But I don't really want to blend, this is a warm gray. I don't know, maybe we can do some blending with it. All right, so I'm going to just do some testing for the colors before we get started. You always want to do that, okay? You want to test because you just don't know. Okay, that's going to be way too dark. Maybe for some deep shadows. Let's see. Well, this is That's pretty good for a start, like a base. And then let's see what this... Okay, and this one is warm gray. That might work. Those two. And then let's see. Maybe a little bit more of a... Maybe those. And when I'm doing blending, you know, I'm not an, I'm not a marker, marker aficionado, uh, or um, a Copic certified person. So I try to keep it like to three color, three markers. That's plenty blendy for me, and I just keep layering it up. So I think I'm going to start with the this light pink color and I'm just going to start with a whole um, just a base on her face a base on her face so let's go ahead and zoom in that's pretty good let's get the light back all right um, nothing compares to a Copic terracotta dreamer um, one thing is the Copics especially when you first get them they're really juicy and blendy Nothing is going to compare to a Copic. I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I mean, these are a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of these brands out, the Milo, the Hoo, the Master's Touch, and they're going to be okay. But especially with skin, that's the hardest to blend. Skin is the hardest to blend. And I always go in with pencil on top of things anyway. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and start and you the trick to alcohol markers is keeping a wet edge that's gonna be your trick i'm gonna go right over her lips too because i'm gonna want she's gonna have some pink lipstick so you want to kind of do it in sections where you can if you try to do the whole face in one you're gonna get streaky if you do a little section at a time like like let's just say her neck here and just kind of what I'm doing is I'm going back over. So like here's this and I'm going over it again and over it again. I'm not doing this. I'm going back over. So you that is that to me is the trick to alcohol markers is keeping that wet edge. Okay. And these are doing pretty good. These are the hoo-hoos. Just going to get a nice base on her. And, you know, if you're really, you can, you can take more time and leave some areas for bright white highlights. Um, I usually just use um, 
my uh, what do you call it uh, Costco pen if I need white real bright whites yeah. <laughs> Tina yeah the Copics are very expensive yeah you know I, here's what I recommend this is my recommendation is that you buy and they come in two different sets and and I don't know which ones come in which set because uh, I, I've got them all com combined up here but you can get two different sets I think there's four or five in a set of skin tones I don't think the pink was in there I mean in the uh, sets but um, I would recommend getting a set of the skin tone in the chow which is less expensive than the sketch you know, these are the sketch. <clears throat> these are the sketch and these are the chow. They're the exact same marker. They have the exact same brush tip. These are just less expensive. And if you get a set of these in the skin tone, then get you some Ohuhu's in, other, in another set. You know, you can get pastel. You get every color. In, in, in either the Ohuhu, the Milo, the Master's Touch, but get your skin set in Copic because that's going to be the hardest thing to blend is the skin, okay? I'm trying not to use them today and just use the Ohuhu's and the other markers, but that's what I would recommend. If you want to do markers, uh, get the skin sets um, in the chow. And then get the other to start. Now, of course, everybody wants all the Copics eventually. <laughs> but then, uh, but get some, uh, you know, other, get some other uh, inexpensive brand to do other things. Okay, so that kind of flashed out. Let's go ahead and turn the brightness down there. There we go. Because I want a white, big white piece of paper here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's and it's spelled um, uh, C I A O, C I A O, okay. All right. And so let's see. Now let's go back over here and whoops, no one's the. And usually the side with the little gray stripe is the side with the brush on uh, on all of them. That's the side with the brush, and the side without the gray stripe is the chisel edge. Now, again, if you go to buy some Ohuhu's or Milo or any other brand, you know, the uh, other brands of alcohol markers, make sure that you get the brush tip because these do come in a bullet nib. Okay, these come in a bullet nib, so be careful. If you order a set of these, that you get the brush tip. It's because they look exactly the same. When, you know, when you're ordering them, you got to be really careful. So what I'm going to do is get this and this. These two colors, you know, I'm going to be interchanging them. Is a little flashed out still. Let's see. I don't know why that is. There we go. That's better. That'll just kind of grab the light. There we go. All right, so I'm going to just start. And while it's wet is when you want to blend. Let's go with the light gray okay so you just got to take your time got to take your time do you ever i don't really the, the chisel edge and maybe if there was something really big tina you know if maybe if there was something really big i might but not really i don't really use the chisel edge you just don't get the detail I mean, you can if you're careful.
Right. So I think you can see the blend. Yeah, it is almost like magic to blend. I know. It is. That's why everybody loves that's why everybody loves the uh, alcohol markers, right? And sometimes you might want a harsh line, like a shadow. Like if you want that to be the shadow of that right there, you might want a harsh edge. Because that shows that there's a shadow on her face. And then as it dries, you can go and put another layer. See how now it's even darker? Once it dries, you can put a whole nother layer on it. So with just these three colors, I can get a lot of different variation in the skin. And keep building it up darker and darker. Oh, thanks, Tina. Well, I don't know about that because, like I said, I am not a marker aficionado or uh, Copic um, certified where they really know their Copics. I'm telling you. <laughs> And again, you got to be aware that this is going through. See? All right. So I think I'm going to stop our face for a minute. Let's put these caps back on. And see what's... And I have not planned any of this out. I don't know what colors I'm going to use or nothing. Well, I don't know about that, Tina. When I like something I do, I say, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm humble enough to know that there are experts in all these fields that are way beyond, but I'm also, you know, um, happy to say if I've practiced a lot or done a lot of tests, you know, if I've done a lot like collage, I've done hundreds of collages, you know, so, you know, I'm probably better at it than some but then i've seen terrific awesome work you know by other artists as well so you got to kind of accept you know that you can always improve you can always improve all right so let's see what colors do i want and where do i want to start i've not picked anything again i like some of these pastel colors but i'm gonna want some main bolder colors so I'm looking at my other markers, the um, other, you know, the Milos and stuff like that. Everybody always loves turquoise and teal. So maybe I should do a turquoise or a teal. Again, I got my practice sheet here. And these are the Milo, Milo. Oh, this, is a, this one's a Master's Touch. Okay. And then this one is a Milo. And the... the they feel just a little different, but I think this one's because this one's juicier. So I kind of like those. And let me see about this gray color with that. Oh, that's too peach. Okay, so I might come over here to my Ohuhu and find a real pale. Let's see. Hmm. This might be too blue. It's a little too blue. This one's probably going to be a little too green. Yeah, it's too green. 
I may not have the right pastel. I might have to just, let's go with a gray. That's too gray. Let's see, this one's the, and they do give you a blender, but I found that the blenders really just lift. I don't know that they really do a lot of blending. They're more, they more like erase. I'm not seeing like this does not blend those two together to me at all. It's lifting up. It's like, look, if I keep working on that, it's like it's lifting up. Well, you may not be able to see, but it's just lifting the color. It's not really blending the color. I'm just not really one with the blenders. I'm not one with the blend. <laughs> not one with the blenders. Uh, so let's see. So I am going to just look for a lighter blue in my collection here. This is going to be too blue. Oh, no, that's better. That may be good. So let's see about this one. This one. And this one. Those three. I like those three. And then, of course, they'll blend as we go. Uh, Tina's running back for the car. I did that yesterday. What are you doing on running across your yard? <laughs> Are you chasing alligators, Tina? <laughs> Are you, is that what you're doing? Chasing alligators? So if I go with the teal, maybe red, teal red and or teal orange. Hmm. Could be teal and red or teal and orange and then a third color. I'm, I'm thinking. <clears throat> Did you suggest getting? Yes, that is true. Thank you, Pacola. Thank you for putting that little info in there. Exactly. Pacola, my little snapdragon. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So let's see. Do I want orange or do I want red? If I go with orange, I can go with a nice, a lot of these browns in the skin tone. So maybe I should go with an orange. Let's see. Let's pick a couple of oranges out here. Oh, that's a little bright. But let's see about one of the... Uh, that's too bright as well. Let's, go with the, let's see about this one. That's a little better. So these two, let's put that one back. Um, it's a little bit lighter, but not enough difference than that. So let's see if I can get one lighter. That's a little on the brown side, which could work for some accents, but hmm. I'm looking it over. Might need a yellow to go. And that's a little gold. Sorry guys, I gotta, you know, gotta get it right. I gotta get what I like. I gotta get what I like here. That's better. Okay, so maybe those three oranges. Oh, uh, let's see. That was Rachel running across the lawn, scaring the new neighbors. Was she naked? Did she, was she dressed? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I got these three, these three. And uh, so now I got to decide maybe, a, I don't know, a forest green. I got. I want three main colors, right? And then a, a lot of the little other stuff can be secondary. So if I go with the orange, the blue, do I want a like a forest and lime? Let's see what this one looks like. That's good. That's a nice forest. And then let's see about a lighter. Oh, that's two. Mm. A little too 
green. What's the name? That's a little better. Okay, so those two, they're, they're, they might be a little similar, but I think those two might work. And then I will need one lighter, so let's look in the pastels again. Let's see what pastel green I have. Maybe. That'd be too pastel. Let's look at this one. Mm, no, it's too similar. All right, so let's go back up here. Um, why have to go with that green? I mean, I have a Copic that I really like, but I'm trying not to use Copics. Just, you know, because I'm trying to use the off brands today. So I might just go with those three. All right. I guess Brian got his um I don't know what that was. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. let Tina take care of whatever it is she's done. All right, so I have some greens, some oranges, and some teals. So I think I'm going to start with that. And I think I'm going to start with, and her hair, too. What color do I want her hair? Do I want her hair these colors, maybe? Because she's got these big ponytail right there. A lot of, she's got a lot of hair showing. I think I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start, I'm going to, I'm going to start with some, or, well, let's, let's start with yellow as a base, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and put, ooh, that's bright yellow. That's really bright yellow. I need to tone that down. Let's go, let's see what this is. Okay, that's better. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. I just want, I want to find all her hair. So I'm going to just go in here and color every place that her hair is. So you can see the whole process of picking colors and all that too. This one's a master's touch. Yellow. All right. Very light yellow. Just to pick out the colors. <clears throat> or find, you know, find those colors. And sometimes it's tricky. You saw my poster. That poster was huge. Is that, no, I'm not thinking that's here. Here. That's a leaf. Those are bangs like there. It sometimes it's hard to tell, and you know you gotta you might just have to end up. I think some of that's feather. It looks more like a feather than her hair, or some kind of um, yeah. It doesn't look like hair. Same thing for right there. This looks like it's some hair right there. Maybe a little bit there. And if you if you and I always say this, if you color something that wasn't. Like if I got a little space, something that's not supposed to be her hair, Nick Filbert is not going to email you and tell you that's not her hair. <laughs> so just saying. Okay. All right. Um, got some cloth right in there. Let's see if she's got any flowy hair anywhere. There's some. Other flowers. I'm not seeing any. I'm just seeing because she's got it in this ponytail, right? She's got her hair in this ponytail, so she doesn't have a lot fl flying around. All right, so let's see about the orange next. Okay, so if I go next with the orange, let me do the two at the same time. Now I'm just getting here with some shading. Do I need to zoom in or is this a good place? Maybe I should zoom in one. I don't want to get it too pixelated. Is that a little better there? 
So just keep the wet edge and just keep blending. And then as that dries, you can add a whole nother layer. But you do want to take it. I'm on a group text. Let me go ahead and move my phone out of here. I just walked by the news. Y'all, um, those of you that are prayers, keep, um, keep our... Uh, People that are stuck in Afghanistan in your prayers. Apparently, there's like 10,000 plus that are stuck over there. So, keep them in your prayers. Okay. Um, let's see. Spider traps. Jan, I don't even know what you're talking about. So, I'm just going to keep building up. That's the thing. You just got to keep building up your colors. And take your time. Sometimes I, I go a little fast on stream. You, you don't want to do that. You know, especially with markers. You want to really take your time and build them up. And don't be afraid that when you're done, you see something that needs more shading or something to go in there with pencil, you know. Remember, it's the wet edge that will make it blend. And I'm also going to do a little bit on our eyebrows. Um, Brian, Tina's a mod with big boots. Is there some problem here? Um, yeah, well, we, we just need to put you in timeout. We need to calm you down a little bit. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of other places to troll. All right. So as you can see, <laughs> my mods have some patience today, boy. I'm telling you, they have some patience today. <laughs> I don't have that patience today. All right, so again, I can continuously build up the, the you know, um, the shading. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go down here. I'm just going back and forth with these these two colors. You can add more colors. You can be every subtle. Every little hair could be another shade of orange or red or whatever you want. You know, you can do a lot of blending and a lot of color shape shifting. See the difference between that and that? <laughs> yeah, right, Carla. <laughs> Hi, Kenneth. Good to see you. How's uh are you uh are you driving this year? This is the first time I've seen you this school year. Are you driving or what's I don't know what's going on in your state, so but it's good to see you. Good to have you back. So I'm just getting a start here. Do 
Um, not really. It really just doesn't. I mean, they blend, but if you feel like it's got a lot of, I never have a, any lot. It may be a little bit, but not enough that you could just go over here and clean it off. But like right now, over here on my paper, no, no orange is on there. Yeah, no orange. It just, I don't know what it is about alcohol markers. They don't really, they don't uh, contaminate each other. And if they do a little bit, it's easy just to scribble it off. They don't really contaminate each other. <laughs> View. Oh, my gosh. That's not her hair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So there's a start on, uh, on that. Now, if I want to go in with a little bit more. This one is going to be too, that's going to be too orange. I might want to go in here with a little bit of this. Maybe a little, that brown might be a little too dark. Let's test the skin color brown. No, that's too pink. Let's try this one. There we go. All right, so this one, this color right here is just a little more sienna than these two. See? So now I'm going to go in here um, and add a little bit of the sienna in the really sh shadowed areas. And then go back and blend it out. That might be too much orange. I think I'll do it with the yellow. So I don't over get, I don't want to lose my yellow. So I'm going to go with, set that one down. And let's just get in here on some of those nice dark shadows. I don't want to lose all that bright orange. You've got to be careful, kind of in between there. All right. Can you see that's a little bit more depth? And again, you can do some of this with pencil if you want after the after the fact. Can you add a few little hairs? And as it dries, you can add another layer. See how that orange, the um, sienna color, has really added a lot? Y'all have any questions, put them in caps. Make sure you have live chat at the top so you see all the chat. If you just have top chat selected, you won't see it all. People are getting some ideas and tips. Again, I would recommend getting the Copic uh, skin colors, especially for just first starting out with uh, alcohol markers, because the skin is the hardest to blend. And Copics are going to, you know, they're the best for blending. So if you really want to see if you're going to like the markers, you want to start with uh, the Copic skin 
chow set to see if uh, you're going to like it. You know, don't go buy, a, you know, a $600 set of copecks or whatever they cost for a whole set. Just get a couple, you know, get the little small set with, I think there's five colors of skin colors and, uh, and test that out. Let's see. Hey, Gary. I uh, said hi to Rain. Okay, that's all right, Brian. If you just, you know, didn't mean anything by it. We just, uh, we're a friendly group here and we don't, we don't tolerate trolls. Not saying that you're necessarily one. So just uh, enjoy the enjoy the coloring or whatever we do. Uh, are you an artist? Do you do art? If so, what kind do you do? Thank you, Terracotta Dreamer, for the $50 super super chat. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. Appreciate your generosity with your time and knowledge. Thank you, Terracotta Dreamer. I'm not sending out prints right now, but if you will email me your address, I will put you on a list. Uh, I took the summer off from sending out prints because we have so much going on, and I didn't want to you know, make a commitment to prints over the summer and not be able to get them out so but email me email me your address um terracotta here's my email i don't share your addresses oh, let me get it on there um i don't share addresses with anybody not even the other mods so um yeah and i don't put you on a mailing list or anything like that thank you arlene thank you so much Thanks, guys. That support. Thank you all that support the channel. I appreciate it. Um, I do try to send out thank yous of appreciating y'all's support of the channel. So thanks, guys. All right. So can you kind of see how we're trying to get some, you know, flow in the hair there? All right, let's see. Thank you, Tina. All right, well, maybe uh, maybe he'll let us know what uh, kind of art he does, Brian. Or yeah, it's Brian, and uh, also. There's Gary Shipman. He's always got cool books, sketchbooks, and comic graphic novels uh, going on. So I would recommend following Gary's. He, he draws tons, draws tons live. So if you like to watch uh, a lot of inking, drawing, sketching, and inking, then I would recommend Gary Shipman. Let's see who else is here. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some people, guys. I'm not meaning to, but, you know, I got a color. <laughs> I got a color. All righty. Oh, let's see. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to stop on the hair and just move on to something else for a minute. All right. Let me put the caps back on these three. <laughs> why is that do i got the wrong oh it goes on this one. It just went doing <laughs> you're welcome gary all right so oh wait i think i need just a tiny bit more orange right here okay all right and also if you are working on a big project and you um, and you're afraid you're going to forget which markers you use, make yourself a cheat sheet. Write down the, the ones that you're using. I'm not going to do it because 
if I use a different one, I don't really care. But if you really want to be, you know, exact in what you're using in your coloring, then you would want to, let's just say I use this color, this color, and this color. I got all these other tests here, but maybe I just use those colors. And then maybe one is, um, this one is a master's touch. So I might put MT and 2022. I didn't use that one, but I'm just giving you an example. And then this yellow, let's say that that was, um, I'm going to use a different one. Well, that was Master's Touch 2. And that might have been uh, number 32. And then let's say you use a Milo or you used a um, Ohuhu. And then put the number. And so th that way you'll know which markers you used. Um, you know, depending on how you keep them, how you store them. I, I have a tendency, other than these new ones, the new Ohuhus, which I've just kept in the bag for now, but that's not going to probably last. They'll end up on my marker wall, all mixed in with the other alcohol markers. Um, but if you want to, you know, and this is true of color pencils. You know, if you're trying out different color pencils, different, um, <laughs> we got a little guest. We got a little guest again. We had one. Of her, we had her on Monday too. Uh, you, then you want to make sure you keep you a, a cheat sheet of the colors that you're using and uh, the brand. If you have mixed uh, different brands, and uh, <laughs> well, that's you got to just you got to practice some and test. This, this is just a piece of 110 cardstock, just smooth office weight cardstock. It's about the same as this. Now, some papers, like I said, that Irene paper, that was a totally different paper. That he must, it must just be an Indonesian paper, you know, that was so different. So you always want to, anytime, let me go, I got the cat kind of threw my lighting off. If you, um, um, you want to always have a test sheet in the back of every book you do because every paper is going to be a little different, okay? It's all going to be a little different. All right, let's see here. Maybe I want to do these big, this big necklace. Maybe that's what that is and or, and or some of this in the blue. Baby, you're going to have to move. I know. I know. Let's back out for just a minute and readjust the light now. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you're gonna have to get off the table i'm afraid you are my little cloud <laughs> my little cloud <laughs> uh, uh, oh alfonso done he's jazza now jazza lately and i just you know um no baby all right let's go ahead and get down Jazza lately has been redoing his studio. I mean, like big times redoing, right? And so I haven't seen him really do any art lately. <laughs> but maybe he's got three or four channels and I'm just missing it. Um, but yeah, uh, but Alfonso does a, a lot of ink. I have a couple of his books, I think, uh, or at least one. I have one of his inking books. Uh, what other ones? Let's see. Um, taught me so grateful of them how they teach us. Yes, that's true too, Brian. I, I like jazz just because you know his personality and stuff. But he hasn't been doing any art lately, has he? <laughs> I did buy uh, years ago. It's been probably five years. His uh, uh, his arty arty jazz arty app where it was like random things for you to draw. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's still on my phone or not. I don't know if I re-downloaded it on the new phone. But I haven't used it in a long time. But I bought I bought his app like five years ago or something. So, all right. So, let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's get the light back now that the, the, the cloud is off the table. <laughs> that looks pretty good. All right. Let's zoom in again. All right. Let's see. That looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some of the blue, the teal color. And uh, let me move these yellows out of the way for a minute. And I got my three greens here. And this red-orange, I didn't really even use that. I'm gonna, well, we may end up using it. Okay, 
So I want to go with the three blues. And uh, they are a Milo or a Milo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. A Master's Touch and an Ohuhu. So I got one of each. One of each of the brands that I'm using today. And we're going to, there they are right there. And those are the three colors we're going to use next. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the, these. And then I'm going to probably want some other area. You know, I'm going to space it around. And that's how I kind of work on a big project like this. You don't want just like, you don't want just that teal right here and nowhere else. Because it's going to draw your eye over here. And it's not going to be like an overall effect. So you're going to want some over here or here. You know, you're going to want it spaced out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the lightest blue just to get the color down. So I'm going to do these little. Um, I, and I say this as a necklace because on some of his other pieces, some of the girls are wearing these ginormous per, um, beaded necklaces. So, um, you know, and a lot of it's just all kinds of stuff mixed in. It's not. You know, it's kind of hard to tell where what one thing's going. I do see some uh, background here that I'm going to want black. So there's a few areas. So I might go ahead and do the black because I can see it right there. And that if you can do a background color, if you can get a background color, and it helps you kind of define where things are. Because these are, they're, they're not going to lie. There's some fussy uh, coloring, right? All right, so now I think I'm going to have that to be teal. Um, I don't know if I want the cloth because this is something else. That's some other kind of feathery stuff. But this right here is some cloth of some kind. So I'm going to go ahead and just base it in just so I can find things. No shading yet. So, okay, so that and I think this. Right here. And then this, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like that kind of thing. So even though it might not be the cloth that's, that she's wearing, I'm going to add some of that color over in here. I'm just kind of looking around. It's right in there. Okay. I find all the details so intimidating. Well, yeah, you got to take it like one, just kind of do a little at a time, Abigail, and just kind of look at it and kind of just, you know, really study it a little bit. And like I said, the other thing I recommend, and let me just get the black. I can I got a black here somewhere. There we go. This one's a Milo black. Um, the other thing is to maybe do some of the background. So I just might find a, a few spots here and there, background. Okay. Um, and also, if you want deep shadows and you know something's really dark, like I'm just going to say that this little pattern in her, this piece of her necklace is going to be dark black too, because that'll give it a nice contrast. Y'all know I'm all about the contrast at the end of the day. Same thing for this right here. Maybe these stripes are really dark. And same thing for down here. Right here, here. Okay, maybe this, this is going to be dark. So I'm going to pick out some of the, the background that's black and some of the, maybe some of the darkest black accents like some stripes and other things okay like this right here mm, do i want that black kind of i kind of want that black too all right there's some background 
kind of picking out some. You can see some of the background in here. Hang on, guys. I'm not looking at chat. Kind of concentrating. A stripe, a stripe, a stripe, and a stripe. <clears throat> Darlene, if you're leaving, or maybe you're saying bye to somebody. I just looked up and saw you say bye. All right, so I'm just going to pick out some. Kind of looking around here, trying to find the backgrounds. There's some there, there's some there. Here's some more over here. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks just like a white space, but it's the background. Here's some right here. So you just got to kind of take it slow and just kind of look at it. And again, if you if you mess it up, if you pick some area that's not a background, who's going to know? <laughs> you know, like I said, um, Nick Philbert is not going to email you and say, oh, whoa, 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 that wasn't the background. <laughs> not going to do it. I'm just kind of going through here like these stripes could be dark. This little area there could be ba background. This could be a background. It's just a real dark area, if nothing else. Let's see. Flowers, these stripes here need to be dark. Oh, here there's something. Starting to come around. Upper right corner, same stripe. Upper right, oh, right here you mean, maybe? Mm, there. Not sure, cat, what do you mean? Let's see. Uh, have you colored this one, cat? left oh i haven't gone over here yet cat good grief all right let me go over here and get this stripe because cat's gonna have a fit <laughs> <laughs> have you colored this one cat cat is an amazing colorist if y'all have not seen cat on instagram cat and paste i'm telling you she's one of my faves not dissing on anybody else that colors but she is one of, one of my faves she has some amazing, amazing coloring. All right. So, but I don't know if she's ever colored in uh, serene or not. I don't know if she has it. <clears throat> some of this background here behind these leaves could be a dark green or but I'm I want some dark black over in here. I want it spread out across the page. She answered me? Oh, I haven't seen her answer yet. She's colored any and serene. All right. Mm -hmm. 
You've colored in serene. Okay. Should I go over there to your IG and look at what you've done and be all intimidated? <laughs> she might have colored this one. That's why she knows where all those stripes are. Just looking around. You can always go back and, you know, you don't have to get it all in the first pass. Not, not talking cat and paste. I'm just saying in general. <laughs> Let me find. Oh, my phone's in the other room. Hang on. Let me go get it. Cameron messaged me. Aw, Cameron sent me some doodles he did. <laughs> Cute. He did some little doodles. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> so fun. Oh, so fun. Okay, let's see. Let me go to Instagram. Oh, and there's Reading with Pugs. Reading with Pugs Jen is another one that I, I have fun watching. She does a lot of holiday stuff. All right, let me go here. Not looking at chat, so I'm sure I'm missing something. I know, right, Tina? <laughs> Just a random little doodle. All right, so let's see if I can scroll through. I mean, she has, let's see how many. She has, um, well, she has 73 posts. For some reason, I thought she had more than that. But she has a lot of a lot of coloring done over here. I'm looking for Serene, though. There's a Serene. Or did, have you posted it? Oh, here's one. Here's one. That's nice. Look, there's one of her Serene's. There's Cat and Paste. Isn't that nice, guys? I don't know what she used. Let's see if she says Prisma, Copic. Yeah, so she just used a little watercolor. She used a little of everything. So, yeah, there's one of cat and paste pieces right there. Isn't that beautiful, guys? All right, let's see if she's got any other ones. I don't know. I think that's the only Serene I see. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's see now. All right, let me go back with some of the light blue and find where I want to do some more because there's a branch right in there these are flowers and those are petals that could be a little bit of um, this up in here I'm not sure if it's a petal but I'm going to make it a piece of fabric or something that ties in with the teal color just because I want that spaced out and back in here I want all this back in here wait that right there needs to be black that little area all right so i'm just going to kind of find where i want the teal colors <clears throat> You just kind of have to, some of them, you just kind of have to just say, well, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure, but that's going there, and this is going here. And you just got to kind of say, that's what I think goes there, but I do want this stripe to be black. Right there. And this. Like these little cloudy things. 
I want them a different teal though, so I won't get too in the weeds with that. And then this looks like a piece of fabric, but these kind of look like feathers. So I'm going to go with that as fabric and that as feathers. Do I want that to be teal too? Hmm. Once I base it in here, then I'm going to go back and do the shading, right? So. I think I want the middle of this to be the teal. And then I'll have the black. Another black stripe. And these little squares back here, I think I want them to be black too. Just talking out loud. So I'm kind of just picking it out as I go. Thanks, Judy. All right, so... I'm sure there's going to be more areas where I'm going to want blue. But I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, some start shading now. All right, let's start with this cloth and this around her head. I think this needs to be blue too. All right. And this right here. And maybe just a black stripe on that ponytail holder thing here. Just because it'll give it some nice contrast. All right. Let's start shading some of the teal now. Those, are, those just kind of look like fabric, but they kind of look more like feathers. Or you know what? I No, that looks like a feather too. All right, so now let's go ahead and start shading. So I'm going to go with the three blues here. All right, so let's start now with some of the darkest blue. And then blend with the... And again, once this layer is dry, you can go back in and add more. Can we see there? Am I zoomed in enough? We can zoom in one more while we're shading. dry by now. Still with the tour, guys? <laughs> Do you have any questions or anything? Just put it in caps. I'll try to catch it. Y'all want to talk about what y'all are working on?
<clears throat> Let's see. I don't see anything in caps. Very relaxing to me to do this. That's why I'm not talking much. <laughs> Just in the chill zone. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. I'm wondering. I'm working on a double page in Marie Troll's Twilight Garden. It's taking me way too long. Those are so detailed. Those Marie Trolls and the uh, Hannah Carl's on. And some, those are detailed, Tina. They can take a long time. They, <laughs> they can take a long time, especially if you're just using just color pencil, you know, for real. It can take a while. I've done some of those. I rarely finish anything like that on a stream. Do a little section at a time so that the edges stay wet and it'll blend. You know I am using color pencil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. That can be take a lot of time. You know, uh, most of the time in my color book pages, I start with, you know, finding areas that I can do a wash of acrylic paint. Backgrounds are usually all acrylic paint. Because then you've got a base and it moves along a little quicker. But I know not everybody likes to do that. Some people like just to color with just pencil. I get that. <clears throat> Anybody looking forward to Survivor in September? Last I heard, it's going to be in, it's going to be back in September. I just haven't heard Jeff say anything since. So I'll do a post on Instagram. Need to make swatches for my new paints. Then I will start a reinforce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does help if you know your cut. You know, if you get especially if you get new colors that you, you know what, what they're going to look like once you put them down. That's for sure, Tina. Swatching them, uh, paint.
It was nice of Cam to send me a doodle. And apparently Boo's been sewing like crazy down in Tallahassee. I guess she sold enough of her clothes to pay her rent. Her hair refurbed clothes that she redoes. She takes like thrift store clothes and remakes them. I guess she made enough to pay her her, her rent. <laughs> uh, get kicked out of the room by Janet and Dee, but don't have a tea. That's all right. That's all right. You you know, I'm sure you can, I'm sure there's places you can watch online too if you really wanted to, Rachel. But you know, that's okay. It's all right. Did y'all hear me? Denise texted me and told me about the, um, on Netflix. When did she say? A Bob Ross documentary airs next Wednesday on Netflix. So she says I have to go binge watch it with her. I don't know how many parts or how, you know, if they'd show them all at once or if you have, if they're, you know, spaced out. Did I show, I bought a Bob Ross magazine. It's in the other room. Did y'all see that Bob Ross magazine I bought? I don't know if I showed it to you or not. Let me finish this area here and I'll go get it. It was just at the grocery store. Which, when I bought it, made um, the girl that was bagging my groceries strike up a conversation with me and uh, told her about my YouTube channel. So, if you're watching, welcome. So I'm just going back and forth between the three markers. All right, let's see. Let's get down in here. Just doing a little section at a time. shadow under there. <clears throat> no one's no one's commenting on anything or talking about anything. I mean, y'all are talking, but I'm not seeing anything in caps. Is is this uh, interesting to you guys or not? I don't know. Some days things you know strike you as different times of like you're in the mood for. Some days you're not in the mood to watch markers or pencils. Some days you're in the mood for collage, which, by the way, speaking of collage, I want to get in back into the, you know, y'all have sent me collage fodder. And I every now and then I try to work on making y'all a collage with the collage fodder. So I need to do another one of those soon. So everybody likes that because I'm using what you send me. <laughs> so... All right, I think I'm going to go run real quick and get the uh, Bob Ross book. Let's get these last little areas in here. So I'll go take a quick break and uh, go find that book. Or it's a magazine. I shouldn't say book. All right. 
All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so let me cap these back for a few minutes because you don't want you want to leave them capped when you're not using them. All right, give me just a minute. I'll be right back, guys. And plus, I I do have a little bit of marker on my hands, and you don't want you want to keep your hands as clean as possible so you don't make smudgies. All right, I'll be right back. Make sure the cats aren't in here. I don't see them. All right, I'll be right back. I found it. Get a sip of lemonade here. Okay. Let me back out one. Oh, let me back out two. So, yeah, let's get the light adjusted. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, the 25 amp years later from when the, um, well, I'm not sure if it's from when he passed, because he passed away in 90, what year did he pass away in? <clears throat> I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, hang on. to look it up. I mean, I could dig through this magazine all day to find it, but let me just look it up, because I forget when he died. Let me just look it up. It's easier. All right. So he was on PBS from 83 to 94. He died in 95. So it's like the 25th anniversary of his death. So I've read I've read almost the whole or almost all these articles. So it was really <clears throat> it was really good. <clears throat> and he's way taller than I thought. On TV he doesn't look that tall. <clears throat> Hi Devin. He's tall. So it was really good. Well, you know what? His his uh, afro, he, he did that when he first started so he wouldn't have to cut and worry about his hair. He permed it so it would just be that. And then after that, he never could get rid of it because people wanted to see him with his curly afro hair. But I think he ended up not liking it later on because he almost had to have it. Well, it was before big screen TVs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he was really tall. And it talks about how he got his first, you know, gig with PBS. And uh, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. And Bill Alexander, if y'all remember, William Alexander. Happy little cheese. He was he was German, so he had a real accent. And he, I can't do it. I'm <laughs> not in the mood to do accents. But he always had the happy little cheese. And anyway, so Bill Alexander was um, Bob Ross's mentor. He actually outlived Bob Ross by a year or two. I mean, Bob Ross was young when he died. Uh, Bill Alexander was in his 80s, I think. Let's see. He was... Um, 
Got to find it again here. He was like, well, was he 50 something, 52 or three? Bob Ross. He was really young. He was in his, his mid 50s, I think, when he passed away. So, yeah. I'll pass up some of this here, some of his step outs. Oh, he passed, he was 52. He was 52. So. Yeah, but anyway, if you see this magazine, I just got it at the grocery store. <laughs> it's really it was it had it was like his bi whole biography. So, yeah. All righty. <laughs> well, you all like my little finger puppet? Yeah, I got this at, uh, at uh, Blick a few years ago. I did a little video. I don't know if it's up on YouTube still. I did a little... Um, I did a little two-part video on my phone at Blick, and, and Bob Ross went along with me, and I don't know if it's still up on my channel or not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, his hair is pretty, yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I'll tell you who really needs his hair, uh, his hair fixed, and that's uh, Andy Warhol. Okay, let's get back to a little bit more of our page. <laughs> Janet. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's get back to our blues. I'll take the caps off my three blues. All right. I'm going to get some of these. You start to tell how long, you know, you have, like, you know, while it's wet, how much to blend, how much just to let some of it sit for a minute. I need to wipe this one off. I took the cap off and I kind of hit the hit the tip and kind of made a mess. And I'm going to get it all over my hands. So let's go ahead and wipe that down. Oh, well, it's dry already. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so what's everybody else working on today on hump day? Drawing, coloring, sketching, journaling. How long do you have to... Well, Riri, just for... De well, it depends first off how juicy your markers are. These are pretty new, so they're pretty juicy, so they stay wet for, you know, um, for a minute. Not You don't have too long. You don't have too long. But then you can always just go back over it and get it wet again, right? Right. 
and then once it dries give it a minute or two let's go back up to like one of these areas then you can go back and add more you know you can darken it even more and blend out you know make it even more shadowed another layer after it dries but be careful because you might have to you might have to blend again too if you don't want any harsh edges but you can get a you can get quite a lot of layering and blending And I would recommend like just, you know, starting out with like three colors of meat, light, medium and dark of, of uh, one color and see what you can do with that. And, you know, practice on a practice sheet, you know, just a piece of cardstock. Just getting in there and adding some more darks. Okay. But there's some awesome... Copic artist out there. And I say Copic artists because the, the ones that are, you know, professional use markers, they use Copics. You know, they may use some other ones occasionally, but I'm sure if they're doing a lot of marker work, it's going to be in Copics. And, you know, just put in, uh, go into uh, YouTube and look up uh, Copic marker experts. <laughs> <laughs> would get it like that too okay yeah and some and I, I saw Judy say and I'm sure she's asking about or telling somebody make a copy of something if you're afraid to mess it up you know I would recommend making a copy of it on cardstock so that you can have a, a better, you know, true feel of what it's going to be like when you do the, the main piece. Copy paper is going to be a little, you know, different. But if you just want to practice, you know, your color combinations or something like that. But, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would recommend do, printing it out on cardstock if you want to do a little practice. And, you know, afraid you're going to mess up your page. Let's see. Hi, Ashley, D. Richie, Joyce. All right. Let's see. There's a little bit more up there. Okay. Let's go over. I don't want a little bit darker in here. And, you know, later when you're coloring other colors and add other colors, you think, well, I need that blue to be darker. I need, you know, you might have to feel like when you see other colors around it that need to be enhanced, you know. All right, let's see. Let's do these big beads here. Let's do these beads. <clears throat> All right, so just got a little leaf in front of that one. All right, so let's go ahead and get some shape to this. Okay. 
get them kind of blocked in. And I'll do something like maybe some gold or something like there's a little gold uh, separator with those beads in there. But I still didn't find my gold marker. The uh, Pentel paint one. I know I got one. Maybe it's maybe I put it in one of those drawers. Just haven't used it in forever. start going here and go back Is it your travel bag, the gold marker? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I would have put it in there because I haven't used it. So I thought, well, I don't really need this in the travel bag because um, I haven't been using it. I'm sure it's on my shelf here, but you've seen my you've seen my uh, <laughs> wall o markers. Oh, I don't know. I'll look again in a minute. I'll let that dry for a second and I can add another another layer of dark. All right, so let's put the lids back on for a minute. The caps, I should say. All right, let me look again. I'm going to just take a moment and go through, because down here is the Copic, so it's not down here. Here's the gel pen, and then it goes and blends into pencils. Next row. These are all black lids, and I know it's it, it probably has a black lid. That's probably why I'm not seeing it. It's a black lid and a gold and black, a gold and black um, barrel. There's my fine liners. Some other gel pens here regular pens sharpies oh there's i was looking for these the other day remember i go where's my sharpies my fat sharpies well there they are okay um microns just regular ballpoint pens in different sizes so I've got other gold pens. I got like these markers here, um, these Pentel like pens, but that's not the paint pen. I'm looking for the kind you shake. That's a paint pen, you know that smell that are real, real uh, dense. Okay, not there, not there. Markers. Okay, so here's some pencils. I'm just talking to myself on. Kind of going through these. Let's see. There's some more gel pens. Mm. I don't know what I would have done with my paint pen. 
unless they just weren't working, I threw them all away. If they weren't working when I straightened up or something and I tested them and they didn't work. Because I am not finding a single gold paint pen. You know, I got I got another one of these. But where I'm just wasting my time. Because I'm not seeing them. Let me look over here in this drawer. Denise and I cleaned out all these pencil drawers. I gave her a whole bunch of them. Brushes. Oh, not over here. Okay, well, I don't know. I'll have to, next time I'm over at Hobby Lobby, pick me up. It's Pintail. I, know, I can picture it in my head. It has a black cap. It's a golden black barrel. And it's one of those that you shake up and makes a sound. You know, when you shake it. But um, I can't find a single one. Yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead because it's just a tiny little area. Let me see if I can get one of these to work. I haven't used these in forever either. And just put some, um, just put some gold in between here, like, like separator beads. Because I can't find the paint pen. So. I see a little bit of gold there. Some tiny like this. These gel pens are fine. But if you want a big area like. Let me pull one of these ones that I. I've worked on. This one here. This gold, see the gold? That's going to be that paint pen. The gold, the gold pen tail paint pen, not just a gel pen. All right. Let's go ahead and keep blending. Yeah, gold Posca. The Poscas are not that gold. I have a gold Posca. Do you find that the gold the gold Poscas are good gold? Um, C and P. Maybe I just need to readdress it. Let's get one out. I got my white lamp right there in front of it. Now I've got a gold one here somewhere. Here we go. It's a big one. This one's a big one, though. I have smaller ones, too. Let's see. Yeah. Let's look at it. It's not, let's let it dry. Let's see how shiny it is once it dries. It's not as shiny. You know what I mean? Let me, let's compare again. Let's compare. All right, let me make a bigger area. Let that dry a second. Oh. Hello, Inspire. All right, so here is the gold paint pen. Grab a, there we go. See? Let's look at the Posca. See? The Posca doesn't shine. It's not shiny at all. It's not shimmery like this. I know, right, Devin? What kind do you like? I'll send you some. <laughs> Are you talking about the gold pen? It's let me let me look it up. I'll show you a picture because I know exactly what it looks like in my head. And I can't believe I can't find a single one. Hang on. Pen tail. I mean I can just order some. I mean that's no pen tail gold paint pen. Just so you can see what so everybody knows what it looks like. Let me find one. 
Where are you? Where are you, baby? Got it. Oh, let's paint, let's separate paint. Let's spell it right. It might help. Well, I don't. I think the writing's a little different. I think the writing's a little different. But this is sort of it right there. But I don't. I think the font is different here. Maybe this is the new font. I don't remember that font, Janet. But see, it's a pen tail. So you have to shake it and get the get the uh, paint to come down to the tip. But maybe they just changed the the font because I don't remember the font looking like that. But yeah. But these are the, the Pentel Gold gel pens. These are gel pens. They're not, they're not a paint pen that you have to shake, you know, that you have to shake and, and, and pump, you know, like you do a Posca. It's just like a Posca, except it's a Pentel Gold. I'll find, I'll find it probably at uh, Hobby Lobby. I just wanted y'all to see what they look like. And that's the closest. I think they changed the font. But it's just a golden black pen. Um, remember you also use this gold ink in a bottle sometime. Yeah, I did, but that wasn't that's not what I used here. This was a pen. I can tell by the I can tell by the marks it's kind of leaving. It's hard to see on camera. See how look. See how you can kind of tell it's a paint pen? See the lines a little bit? It's, this is a paint pen. But you see how shiny it is? Yeah, it's the Pentel Gold marker. All right, let's see here. Let's do a little bit more blend. I was yard man here. I didn't know he was scheduled. Or is that just the next door? No, I guess he is. I didn't know he's coming today. So we'll do a little bit more. What time is almost eleven thirty? We'll figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch today. Webster comes home for lunch. All right. All right. So you can kind of see where we're getting with those beads. It needs a little bit more. A little bit. Whoop, a little bit more blending. like that oh let's see I miss Kenneth I missed if you said if you're still driving this year hi Jonica oh are you are you sick speedy recovery if you are <clears throat> So you see, we started with like this, just a first initial base coat. Did the same thing with her face. Let me go ahead and back out. And if y'all missed, I'll show, I'll kind of flip through some of the other ones that are in different stages in the Serene book. Again, this is the book I'm working out of. Somebody said that they uh, saw one on eBay for $500. Uh, no. <laughs> But uh, these are some of the works in progress that uh, that I'm uh, working on. They're in different stages. You know, I start one on stream. And sometimes we don't get that much farther. This one's done. This one's done. Again, with the gold. See with the gold? The gold up there. Mm -hmm. 
I should at least do her eyes. And this one's done. He starts back with the job Monday. Okay. We'll have a safe um, year, Kenneth. This one's got the glitter now. This one's stickles. So you can see the glitter. And if you add any stickles, you want to do that at the very end because um, you have to let it dry. In progress, this has got black painted background so that I could do this pencil glow around it. This was when I started at a Christmas a few years ago. And then I, these are just some other ones I pulled to work on. But I uh, haven't got to yet. And uh, if y'all missed it from last, when, when I did the coloring with everything, I did post this on Instagram. I finished this little girl here, and she was out of Colorage Wild 3. And we did pan pastel and pencil. So I finished her, and she is posted on Instagram. And then this one I finished, and I'll probably post this one tomorrow. And this is done with water-based markers, the, the uh, super tips, and some watercolor, and just a little bit of Posca for the little flyaway hairs. But she's out of Colorage Wild 1, so I'll post that on Instagram tomorrow. Now, let me do her eyes real quick, and then I will um, we'll read our weekly 1001 Ways to Be Creative. If you missed the project, the weekly idea, it's to take, and if, if you don't, and go back and look at the whole thing, but um, go on Pinterest or another, you know, place where there's lots of ideas, and, and follow a theme like, art journaling click on art journaling and then click on the next page and pick one click on that because it changes every time you pick something it starts to gear toward what you're picking and then you'll it'll eventually take you to something you really really love just go back and watch it if y'all missed it okay um her eyes so i think i'm going to do her eyes do i want them this teal color or do i want them green because there's going to be quite a bit of green, too. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the blue. I'm going to go with the same color. So I'm going to zoom real tight on our eyes. And then I think then I'll read the, our, um, I'll read our uh, what do you call it, uh, ideas for the week. All right. So I'm going to start first by just getting in the light blue, just like I did the other, just like I did the other areas. And then I'm going to go in here with the darkest. You gotta, you know, you if you don't feel comfortable doing this with uh, the marker, then go ahead and do it with pencil. And then I'm gonna blend just a little. Oh, wrong end. Okay. So I'm gonna get her eyes nice and blue, and then I want to just take a, a sharpie pen and get her pupils nice and black. And I'm using the Sharpie pen because I need tight, a tight, sharp. Uh, I, I mean, you know, with the marker, it's going to be hard to get it this clean and tight, especially now I'm going to do her eyelashes and her eyelid. Remember, in most color books, the line art is gray. It's not black. So if you want, like, eyelashes and dark black pupils you're going to have to get in there and and do that because it's not going to be black it's going to be a gray okay and the same thing i'm going to take my posca now and let's go ahead and get right in that under that eye I kind of smeared it just a little so let's just get that and i'll go back over it in a minute and get a nice white and then give her a nice highlight Maybe another little dab of highlight, just a touch. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Let's give her another, let's give her a bigger highlight. There we go. All right, now I gotta make sure that's a dry before I go back in there with maybe a little bit of pencil with a little bit of uh, um, just 
just get right up under that eye there. And then maybe just a couple of lashes on the bottom. Just a couple. like that. Let's get that eye round again. It's kind of in the shadow over there. You don't see too much blue in that one. Like that. the eyelashes and maybe we want a little let me just grab a pink let's see here let's test this pink that's pretty pink let's put a little bit more pink in her lips maybe and then maybe just a little bit of darker in the lip line Maybe just a little in the nostril. Thanks, Tina. And you can always add just a little. She's got kind of a little bit of a shadow already on her uh, under her eyelid. But if there's only white under the eyelid. <clears throat> Let me sharpen this pencil. Take um, like a slate blue and put a little bit of a sh of a shadow in the, under the eyelid. It really, I mean, I can't tell you how much difference that makes. Let's see if you can tell. See that little bit of a slate blue? It just gives a, a little bit of a shadow. And let's see. It's uh, just a little bit of sienna, just a little bit darker on her lips here. Something like that. Maybe even just a little more around the eyes. So, you know, I don't mind going back in with pencil and adding extra details. Give her just a little more oomph. So. All right, let's back out. And uh, we made a we made a dent. We made a dent in it. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and read out of our thousand one ways to be creative. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed it on Wednesday. And uh, yeah. So let's see where we are here. All right, let me get my let me get my pointer. I like to use my Torah pointer when I re, when I remember to use it. I love my love my Torah pointer. All right, so we got a uh, pointer. All right, so we are at number six hundred and thirty nine, and I'll read a couple of maybe a couple pages here. Don't forget to go back. Uh -huh. And uh, look at the uh, weekly idea. Okay. All right. 639. And again, remember, when I'm reading this, if something else occurs to you totally different or expanded or exaggerated or something, if something else occurs to you while I'm reading these ideas, make sure and write down your ideas. Okay. Make sure you write down your ideas. 
Creating art is a form of being totally present in the moment. If someone else can do it, so can you. Ask how you can make a better world. Rearrange the furniture. Watch a children's cartoon. Build a nest and see if a bird comes to claim it. Just pick up a pencil and begin. Use acrylic paint or permanent markers to decorate a pair of canvas shoes. Write a haiku that celebrates life. Learn how to build a canoe. And again, you could draw one, paint one, sketch one, ink one, doodle one. All right, I'll go ahead and read these two pages. Writing a novel is like driving a car at night. You never see further than your headlights, but you can make the whole trip that way. Okay, one more page here. Decorate, <clears throat> decorate a box to keep your treasures in. Stage an action figure battle with your favorite child. Think of the possibilities if you mix analog with digital work. Cross over to another medium. If you usually write, try painting. If you paint, try working with clay or playing a musical instrument. I wonder if I can think of that, his name. Let me put my Torah pointer away. Um, is it Jesse? I, I want to show you this guy that he takes his action figures on Instagram. If I can find him right off the cuff, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, I found him. Okay, his name is Art of Jesse Cobb. And he does a lot of like, you know, creepy drawings and stuff. But he also <laughs> takes his action figures and look, these are action, action figures photographed to make them look like they're real. Isn't that amazing? Let me show you a couple of them here. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. I love the ones that he does outdoors. I haven't done them for a while, so let me scroll back a ways. He started doing more drawing than do than working with his action figure photo photography, but. Uh, I want to find some more of the ones he's done outside. They're really cool. He does creepy, cool kind of drawings. But I really loved his action figure photography. Okay, here we go. We're getting back. To, okay, look at this. Okay. So there, there is action figures. And he photographs them out in... Out in uh, see you have to go look at them isn't that cool though i mean i just think that's amazing that you can here's a good one look at this one I just think they're amazing. I know, right? Photographing. Let me scroll down a little more so I can find a couple more. But it's the art of Jesse Cobb. And he does ink drawings and little characters and a little bit of everything. But I just love the way he photographs the action figures. It's just to me, it's just really really cool let's see and find another one here <laughs> oh, let's see isn't it cool though yeah i know so if y'all uh, go follow them, because some of them are just really like, 
you know, you just, it's hard to believe that there are action figures. So, yeah. There's another one. This is pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll head on out. And uh, again, this is A Thousand One Ways to Be Creative, a little book of everyday inspiration, Barbara and Kipfer. And uh, you can find it on Amazon. I got mine at Tuesday morning for $3.99 before my Tuesday morning closed down. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Got some ideas using the off markers, the off brand um, alcohol markers. Again, if you buy the... Um, if you buy the Ohuhu ones, make sure that you get brush tip because they also come in the bullet nib, you know, just the little nib ones. They're not brush. So make sure if you order any of those or any of the off brands, make sure you get brush, get brush. You're welcome. Hi, Joan. Thanks, Devin. So you're welcome. Thanks, Tina. Thank you, Tina, Pacola, Janet, and um, Julie Topaz for modding. And um, you too, Carla. Thank you for your encouragement, Carla, and all the hi, Nanette. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, and thanks for those that, that um, super chat and support the channel. I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, well, we'll see you next time, guys. All right. And don't forget, say a prayer for those that are trying to get out of Afghanistan, guys. So, you know, our, our, um, our Americans trying to get out. So, okay. I haven't heard anything since, you know, the last few hours, of course, because I've been here. So, but keep, keep them in your prayers. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.